What you seek is seeking you. Rumi. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello there. So I have been holding off on this video, but I feel like at this point, there are thousands of drivers, thousands of trucks out on the road that are deleted. So being that I have no issue with telling y'all my story, let's get into it. <laughs> so previously from the last video, as some of y'all saw, unfortunately it was my belt tensioner that actually broke and I will further elaborate into the vlog. So back way back then, you know, 30 days up until, or 30 days in around when I got my equipment, my high pressure fuel lines gave out on me. I had no intentions of deleting my truck or even buying a truck with the whole emission stuff on it. I didn't. Long story short, I ended up being blessed with what I ended up with and it's been nothing but a journey that things are going to be out of your control and your attitude is tested the most your savings how you save how you manage your money is what's really a determining factor on whether you're going to be successful out here as many of us tend to be you know long story short when my high pressure fuel lines gave out on me the mechanic that I was dealing with when my truck had was going through those things he recommended that you know we also found other problems with the after treatment blah 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 I'm like okay like just give it to me straight so he recommended me getting the delete on my truck I had no I didn't have a lot of knowledge about what deletes can possibly cause or do when it comes to your equipment but Honestly, I personally feel like it's just safer, better to be safer to buy a truck without the whole system and just go from there. So he recommended I get a delete. I got it deleted. So why am I telling y'all this for real? Especially those in my DMs, we are not one in the same. And I'm not saying that to be like disrespectful or mean, but I want y'all to understand when it comes to your equipment, is going to be equipment set up for you along your path. There are legit mechanics who may turn the other cheek and not wanting to work with you because your truck is deleted, you know. There are some mechanics who don't have the knowledge base to work on deleted equipment, programs to work on the um, truck. It's certain things that you may need updated within your electronic module system, like myself, that some mechanics, their equipment isn't compatible. So the person who end up deleting your truck might be your best bet in working through the NICs, you know, and working through different circumstances to get your equipment going because I feel like that's been one of the most ch biggest challenges is going through this process of having my truck deleted and having a knowledgeable mechanic on deleted so you need the favor of buying a truck without the whole systems on it you know do it naturally there are some great trucks out on the road seriously that go through these deleted processes and have no issues and then there are some who maybe after two years after the delete the truck starts giving major problems because some places they do bad deletes so you can't trust everybody to delete your truck neither you have some people who'll be so quick to speak on certain things without fully understanding the overall picture quick to judge but don't even know the whole story understand first you know so that's my thing that's my take on it I wish you well in your truck purchasing process. This is not easy. I noticed later on, now more than ever, the main person I can rely is on myself when it comes to trying to figure things out. But 
Yeah, Google is definitely legitimate when it comes to information that you need quick, fast, and easy. All right, now I promised I wanted to do a whole get up, get ready with me full blown vlog, but instead I thought I'd incorporate one of my most interesting pickups doing power only. But first, as I mentioned before, what happened with my truck, the belt tensioner did snap. On that night, it was like maybe eight o'clock at night and I was going somewhere to get my truck addressed for the morning time and come to my surprise when i started up the truck i heard this winding noise before i can even open up the hood once i opened up the hood i saw that the belt was snapped terribly and all i could think about as i was driving my way back home in my personal vehicle i was lost for words i couldn't do nothing but go to sleep so i woke up with the intentions i do not want to call a tow truck nobody's gonna waste bread in that situation i was just highly grateful that this happened while i was at home instead of being on the highway so i located the closest mechanic near there and they had a road service come out to me a road tech come out to me and they addressed the issue right then and there and yeah this load did pick up in florida and it was heading up to georgia but i can say by far power only has been one of the best aspects I've experienced in the overall trucking industry because I have a thing for spontaneity I do I don't like wasting time power only is definitely less time consuming the whole overall drop and hook there be days or moments to where we don't speak to an actual physical person just drop off paperwork in a drop box and go on about our business it's allowed me to know what I want to further do down the line honestly because yeah man power only is definitely a different type of piece so i want to shift the conversation just a little bit so please be mindful this will not be applicable to everybody y'all know how i mentioned in the last video trucking is not made for the weak trucking isn't a profession for someone who isn't willing to make sacrifices compromise be committed dedicated or disciplined there are so many drivers who lose their lives, families, homes, vehicles, or even themselves because of the imbalance that's created. If there isn't a balance, then there will always be something that lacks. And y'all know how society or people within society always want to project or be so quick to judge another person's situation without truly seeking the answers and then understanding why things are the way they are i'm telling you certain things happen that are out of our control that ends up leading us with a distasteful like or feeling about this trucking industry seriously people lose their inner being by being out here being away for so long lack of communication from other people out here there'll be days some people don't even talk to other people that's just how the game goes that discipline is something serious it is having a plan having a goal as i mentioned before is the most extreme because that's what's going to really set you up for your success we all have our own certain path that we walk on i cannot tell y'all how many people who kept telling me that you know why you ain't bought your truck yet you know you should buy your truck you should buy your truck you should buy your truck and in all honesty it's like i'm not gonna do that to you especially because that might not be a path for you was i content pretty much being a company driver at bl doing what i was doing around that time i was financially i was i'm not gonna lie but at a point you kind of get the feeling of wanting more you kind of get the feeling of wanting to transition or elevate into something bigger for yourself, you know? Amongst all the people that may be in your ear or your head telling you otherwise, certain, certain things you want to be able to do for yourself, but you have to be able to see it for yourself first. I did not want a truck at that time, 
because I didn't want the responsibility. I'm not going to lie. My overhead was out of the roof. It was. And that's why I was going at my own pace, staying in my own lane, because I knew what I was truly dealing with financially. I'm someone, as I will hope you are too at this point, we want to be able to do things that's financially feasible first in order to sustain our overall operations, you know? You want to do it in a logical, wise way. There are people out here now as owner operators who struggle because they can't keep up with their maintenance. They can't keep up with their truck payments. They can't keep up with certain personal payments or priorities that they have going on because there is an imbalance. I'm serious. Having a proper balance, not being burnt out, indulging in self-care, all that goes into consideration and being successful out here in the trucking industry, as an owner operator, as a company driver, whatever that fits for you or for myself, it is. There's a different type of therapy that I receive. I'm so serious when it comes to working on my equipment. There have been people in my comment section who said, you know, I'll leave that for the mechanics. I wouldn't dare touch my truck, this, down the third. But me, personally, if I can save money, by all means, I will. Especially if I've done an extensive amount of research or whatever I'm trying to combat. I will tackle it. I will. No lie. I don't like getting my nails dirty. <laughs> But I will try my best to save $800 to replace some type of filter or whatever the case may be, knowing that it was in my hands safely. Do what's best for you. Company drivers who've been driving for like 10, 15, 20 plus years, you got your houses paid off, you got your cars paid off, you got like multiple homes, rental properties, all that. And you are content as long as you happy that's all that matters happiness is what we're striving for peace is what we're striving for I receive a different type of peace when I'm out on the road and it's so indescribable it's just a certain feeling that I can't explain it comes from within it does I don't always have to be talking to somebody on the phone I can be listening to certain inspirational podcasts certain messages, different type of music, certain instrumentals, beats, I love beats, <laughs> and just ride out and vibe out. That's what it's all about. It's about being financially stable, most importantly, healthy within your mind, body, spirit, soul, the physical, the mental. It is having a balance. That's what a lot of us tend to lose out here. Balance. When I started trucking, I definitely had a financial goal. And it's crazy because as I further got into this profession, that's when my plan started to expand. It's a different type of patience that I've grown into being out here on this road. I'm telling you, this, this, whew, this type of life out here. It requires a great deal of patience. It does. It's going to shape us or break us. Our attitude and how we handle everything is also a determining factor on whether we're going to be successful. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm not one to always project my own plans or goals onto someone else because we all have different paths. We all don't walk the same walk. We don't. I'd be wrong to sit here and tell you that, you know, ownership or owning a truck, you should do it. That's what you should do, you know. I can't tell you what you should or you shouldn't do because it might not align with your path as well as it does with mine for various factors goes into that. It does. Some people make trucking look easy or they make trucking work for them. Because genuinely and naturally, that's what, that's what it is for them. And the other people, they end up getting in an accident 30 days in. Or they get in brawls with their trainers. Or they end up getting robbed out here being unconscientious or, you know, oblivious to certain situations. I'm, it's, it's, you just, you have to be alert at all times, at all costs. Seriously, you do. It's what we make it. It is. 
trucking is peace trucking is love trucking is can be fun you know trucking is calm <laughs> trucking can piss you off with the wrong or encountering the wrong places the shippers receivers certain brokers certain dispatchers companies etc 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 but again it's what you make of it so do what you love love what you do walk in your own kick stay in your own lane and it's not a competition the only people we come we compete with is ourselves be mindful everybody's not going to be for you those smiling in your face but low-key got some type of envy mm -mm. <laughs> stay in your own lane until the next peace out I have a dream <laughs> yeah man that someday all the drivers will stay protected and stay winning that's the way to go uh, uh.